concern really is about uh, losing the efficacy of our fungicides. And so those are the, the three key points, and, and if you keep those in mind as I go through this, hopefully uh, it won't get lost as, as we proceed. So I'll just take one step back for uh, just a, a little bit of plant pathology 101. What are the differences between the, the terminology immunity, resistance, and, and tolerance? And they are different things, and, and unfortunately in the industry, I think these terms get confused a little bit, so I'm, I'm gonna try clarifying that right now. Immunity is where you have a host and pathogen and they do not interact at all. So if we think of uh, like a pathogen like uh, black leg and humans, humans don't get black leg. Humans are immune to black leg. So that's a definition of immunity. We do not have immunity to black leg in canola varieties. What we have there instead is resistance. And resistance is where uh, the, the host and pathogen, they do interact, but the, the host, uh, canola in this example, is able to recognize that the pathogen is present and, it can, issue, and can, can initiate a, uh, a defense response. So that's what resistance is. Tolerance is something that's even uh, a little bit different than that. The, the disease is still able to infect and, and go through its normal life cycle. It's just that the plant is able to still yield. And so we do have examples of, of, of uh, resistance and tolerance in canola, and I'll talk about those here shortly. Now, another uh, plant pathology 101. This, this one uh, you have to pay a little bit close attention to because we're going to talk about a gene-for-gene gene theory which says that when we're dealing with resistance, for resistance to work, you need to have a corresponding avirulence gene in the pathogen. And what that avirulence gene is can be a, any number of things, but it, it is something about the pathogen that the host can recognize and initiate a, a defense response. So often it might be uh, a change in the protein uh, uh, on the surface of a fungi, and the plant can, can recognize it and then start a, a defense reaction. But you need to have both a resistance gene and an avirulence gene uh, present in order to, to get a resistant reaction. So if we look at this...